guys, so if you've ever been told you need to put your baby down, you need to teach your baby to be independent, or you need to stop spoiling your baby with attention, then this video is for you. So let's get into it. Hi guys, and welcome to the Dad Vibes. And if you're new here, this channel is all about positive parenting from a dad's perspective. So be sure to hit subscribe and keep up to date with my weekly videos throughout 2021. So spoiling a newborn baby, certainly a very polarizing topic. It's something I discuss a lot on Instagram. In fact, one of my posts titled Stop Spoiling Your Baby went viral from my standards. Um, I think it reached over 600,000 parents, 14,000 likes. I'll share a link in the description below and you can see it just here, all about how we respond to and interact with a newborn baby. Can we spoil them? Can they manipulate us? Let's take a look. So I certainly feel we've reached a place in modern society that there are a number of misconceptions out there when parenting a newborn baby. You know, if you rock your newborn baby to sleep and allow them to nap on you, then you are gonna make them clingy and dependent. If they stay in your own room past 12 months, then you are making a rod for your own back. And I think the biggest myth of all is, you know, if we respond to our babies crying quickly, then you know we are spoiling them with attention and allowing them to manipulate us. And before we dive in, I just want to iterate that you know it's really on parents to do what works for them and their family. Every family situation is unique, every parent is different, every child is different, and with that, you know, we need to do what works for us and our family. So although it's really useful to take on board advice and read things, read articles, read research. We really need to just use that as a guide and do what works for us. You know, one of the most overwhelming things, certainly for new parents, is the endless stream of advice that comes in from friends and family. And, you know, you might feel pressure to take advice. You know, do you keep your baby in your room or do you put them in a separate room? Do you respond to their cries quickly? You know, maybe someone that you love and close to you is telling you something different that feels natural to you, but you just need to do what you feels right and that works for you and your family. So let's look at debunking the myth that you are spoiling your baby with attention. So if you are choosing to respond to your baby's cries quickly, and if you're being questioned um, about that decision by a friend or family member, then here are three reasons why you aren't spoiling your baby. So reason number one is your baby has a biological need for closeness and comfort. So if your baby wakes during the night, yes, they might need a feed. Yes, they might need a nappy change, but in fact, they might just need the closeness and comfort of their parent. And this could simply be you just rocking them back to sleep into another sleep cycle, or you just soothing them if they're a little bit distressed. You know, it's a scientific fact that newborn babies, you know, helpless newborn babies in effect, just need the closeness and comfort of their parent. You know, there's plenty of research out there that if you meet your babies crying with a warm response, you know, then it's fantastic for their longer term emotional development. I'll share some links in the description below, but definitely check out the study from the University of North Carolina where they um, explored parental sensitivity to infant crying with some fantastic results and certainly backs up what I'm saying here today. If you're finding some value in this video, guys, be sure to hit like and subscribe below. I'll be coming back to you every week with parenting videos from a dad's perspective on positive parenting. So reason two why you aren't spoiling your baby by responding to them quickly when they cry is emotional regulation. Now, contrary to popular belief, a newborn baby cannot regulate their own emotion. You know, newborn babies simply haven't reached that milestone yet that allows them to self-regulate their emotions. So they just need a calm, present, responsive caregiver to help them soothe. It might be through sleep cycles, for example, but they need us to be there to help them regulate their emotions. And finally, reason number three, guys, is that their emotional needs are just as relevant as their physical needs. Now, obviously, we're going to ensure that they're changed, fed and warm. But, you know, we get a little confused along the way on how do we respond to their emotional needs. You know, it's on us as parents to make our own decisions. But I think it's important for a dad to start debunking some of these myths. You know, if you want to respond to your baby's crying quickly, you know, do it. Don't feel judged. Don't feel that you're raising a dependent child because it's clear, and you know, the research I'm sharing in the description below proves this, that dependence breeds independence when you're looking at a newborn child. And, you know, our number one aim as parents is just to make our child feel safe and secure. And by being responsive both day and night, you know, I feel and believe that we're doing that. You know, a final tip here, guys, is don't feel guilty if you need to be selfish. You know, take time for you. Parenting, as I say, 
can be a tough gig. So, you know, if you need an hour, if you need two hours in afternoon, reach out, talk to someone, ask for help and give yourself that time to recharge because it's so, so important as a parent to be parenting from a place of calm so that you can be calm, present and responsive in those tougher parenting moments. Cheers, guys. Happy New Year. If you're new here, hit like, hit subscribe and I'll be back next week with another parenting video on positive parenting from a dad's perspective.